All right, so I'm out on this beautiful sunny spring day. It's very warm out right now. It's probably around 65, 70 degrees. And it hasn't been freezing at night for the past few days at all. And as you can see, there is no sap flowing. It's totally dry now. Um, and since I know it won't be freezing anymore, or at least I hope so, <laughs> given that it's almost May, <laughs> um, I'm going to pull the tap. All right, so pulling the tap is really easy. You just need like a claw hammer or a crowbar or really anything of the shape will do. And you just set it on the tap and gently pry it out. There it goes, it's that easy. Um, and now what you wanna do is just clean the equipment that you have. Um, don't wanna use any soap, just hot water. Uh, you can sterilize it in boiling water and store it away for next year. Okay, so in this case, it was really easy to tell when to pull the taps because it warmed up enough that the sap just stopped flowing completely. Um, in other cases, you might still get sap flowing. Um, it might not warm up as fast as it does right now, and you'll be able to tell that it's bad because it'll be cloudy. Um, normally when the sap comes out, as you've seen, it's totally clear. It looks almost like water, what well, looks just like water. Um, but as you get more towards the end of the year, it might have more of a cloudy appearance, and that's called buddy sap. And at that point, it's no longer good to boil, and it has it just kind of tastes bad, so you don't want to use it anymore. All right, so I'm out on my front porch right now, and I just wanted to show you the branches of this tree that we just tapped, the silver maple, because um, I think it's cool. This is what I am talking about when I'm talking about buddy sap. Um, you can see all those little circular things on the twigs. Um, they look kind of like flowers, but they're really not. They are buds. Um, and they're opening up. This is as much as I can zoom in, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, but they're red and they're opening up and they shortly will be producing flowers and then leaves. And it's really sweet. And uh, yeah, I'm just showing this to you because they call it buddy sap because when the buds start to open up, then that's about when the sap goes bad. So I just wanted to show you a close up of the tap or spile as they're called. Um, after I've taken it out of the tree, uh, you can just see that at the end here, there's some grit on it from where it was stuck in the tree. Um, and that'll be really easy to get out with just some hot water and like a scrub brush or a scrub sponge. Um, There's no need to use soap. Uh, you do want to actually avoid soap because it can contaminate the flavor of the sap. Um, don't want to drink soapy sap. It would be tasty. <laughs> uh, so yeah, you can just scrub it off with hot water and then sterilize it in boiling water. All right, so now that I've told you how to tap your own maple trees, um, go out there and do it. <laughs> uh, seriously, it's such a great way to connect with um, your friends, the trees <laughs> out there, and uh, with your human friends. Uh, you know, like it's a fun thing to do together as a group. Um, likely you'll end up with so much sap that you won't even know what to do with it. You won't be able to use it on your own. So you'll be giving it away to your friends. Um, and really it's such a, you know, delicious, cool, healthy, fun thing that people will be more than happy to take it off your hands. Um, I gave away a lot of it this year because I just had so much. I couldn't use it all. I didn't want to throw it away. So that was a really cool thing. Made me feel good <laughs> um, to be able to give that away to people. 
and uh, hopefully it'll make you feel good too. So yeah, go out there and do it. Um, you know, please tell me about it as well. I would love to hear how you use the sap, um, if you come up with any great recipes for it, uh, anything like that, please let me know. So yeah, go do it and have a great triggering season.